try to kill the Grimace and any other enemies so I can actually speed the game back up if it can't handle so much stuff on screen. Fly over some of these enemies, since I have the wings I might as well fly. Work your way over, kill this blue Grimace, work your way through these blocks, and fall down. It drops a bow from that last block, so make sure you grab the bow because you need it, of course, once again, to kill this stupid boss. Work your way over to it and start nailing it in that little dangly thing hanging below it that, you know, whatever. Hit it a few times, he'll explode. He drops some treasures and stuff. And work your way over to the right. Watch out for Grimace here. Kill him, trying to get an extra weapon, you know, but he seemingly won't drop it when I need him to. He dies, but he doesn't drop it. He gives me some hearts, though, so they're useful and I can rack up my health. Okay, once you now you're going to be in the world of hell. If this game wasn't already hell enough, you're back in the world of hell. Immediately, kill all... Keep killing these stupid deer people with the bow. The bow stinks, so keep killing people until they drop a sword. Boom, we got the sword. Now you can actually head in the, in the right direction. You can keep killing them, and they will drop the upgraded sword. If you can kill this red guy down here, if you can kill that guy before he gets off screen, which unfortunately he gets to off screen, you actually can upgrade sometimes to the red sword right away. In which case, there's a block coming up right here. I'm going to grab that'll upgrade me to the red sword here. That would upgrade me to the ultimate sword in the game, which is this big, huge, fiery, red, awesome-looking sword. It's probably the coolest-looking thing in the entire game. But the thing about it is, it doesn't last very long. It seemingly just only lasts for a, a small period of time, and then you end up losing it anyway. So, I'll probably get it at some point. I, I think I can get an upgrade in the last part to get one. Okay, here's this guy again. Same strategy as before, just get to a spot. The red sword does a ton of damage to him. As you just saw, it was like one hit pretty much killed him. And then head to the right. Now we're back in the world of Labyrinth, my least favorite level. This time we don't have to collect any items though, we just have to work our way through the maze and then get to the boss itself, the final, final boss of the game, which is one of the most annoying bosses as well, in terms, terms of any boss. Definitely one of the more annoying bosses. Kill Grimace, and you know, you might as well keep, if you get the uh, anything else, just keep the sword for the most part. I'm going to grab a pair of wings there, just because they dropped. I didn't really know they were in there. Okay, you get to a giant wall of blocks, you just gotta maneuver your way through them by, you know, breaking pieces of them, you know, keep breaking them through, and working your way very slowly through the whole giant mass of blocks. Takes a long period of time, but eventually you'll make it through. This game, the whole breaking blocks part of this game probably takes up a good, like, five minutes or so of the entire playthrough, is just breaking damn blocks. I don't know how that guy got in here. But, oh well, he's in here. Okay, break these series of pillars. They'll, of course, they'll drop some random items. I now have, like, the gold armor. I think it's the best armor. I think. I, I really don't even know. It may be the worst armor. I don't know much about it. Okay, there's the fiery red awesome looking sword. Like I said, it's pretty damn cool looking. Problem is, it doesn't last very long. Okay, here is boss time. Immediately, you're going to be flying. Watch out for the heads. They will go through you and instantly kill you, pretty much. They'll take away a lot of your health. Get below and sit down on his arm here and break the shield. Next, you want to head over and start swinging your sword at the, s at the sword. That'll break away after a few seconds. As you can see, I already lost my big awesome sword. Now, duck where that arm was, and you can keep hitting him in that, like, that weird cat-like body of his. Eventually, that'll break, so you can naturally have free reign without any fireballs coming at you. Okay, now that that's broken, attack the heads. You will not be able to tell if you if you actually hit the heads or not, but the heads fly sporadically around. It's really it, they completely move to your movements. If you head left, it'll choose a direction. If you had if you had chosen instead to go right, it would choose a completely different direction. They're completely dependent upon what you're doing. There's no way to completely track them. I'm sure there's a way to manipulate them in doing exactly what you want. Anyway, just keep attacking, because if they go through you, they drain your health completely, pretty much. If you keep attacking, though, so when they go through you, they won't do any damage. After a few good hits of, or so on each one, you will be able to kill each head individually, which is the goal here. Once one head's down, it's much easier, and then, of course, 
just, okay, one head's down, now I just gotta focus on the other two, which is much easier because they're not, you know, you can pretty much see them a lot more clearly unless they gang up on you both at once, which can be a real pain in the butt. But just follow them around, waiting for them to fall down here as they take their sweet time. Okay, can we kill, can any of them die, please? I just wanna, this doesn't, it's taking way longer than it needs. Like I said though, prepare for the epic ending. I'm not going to show it very long because I can't even stand I'll get too mad at it. So just look at it for a few seconds, enjoy it, and, and whatever. Okay, one head left, which now it's just really easy. Hit a few more times. After I've hit it so many times, it shouldn't be too many more. Just focused on this one head in particular. Come on, head. Come here. Okay, it's dead. Prepare for the ending. Just prepare for it. There it is. That's the ending. That's it. I thought it was. I thought the game broke. I thought the game froze. No, that's the ending. It just sits here forever, plays music. You can freaking pause the game if you want to at that. I mean, it, that it's it's horrible. I couldn't even stand showing you it for much longer than that. And it, I I saw a speed run, like I said on YouTube. Same freaking ending. I saw someone posted just the ending of the game. It's the same ending. I thought it was a. I I don't know what it. Why? I don't understand it. If it really is a glitch, I would be much more relieved. So if you have a working copy of the actual game and you can play it through all the way and show me the actual ending, please tell me it's a glitch because I can't believe that's the ending of the game. I'd rather have a black screen that just says the end on it. That at least shows me that I beat the game. That just shows me that I just broke the game. I mean, it's not even worth playing. I I can't stand this game. Oh, man. With that, that's going to wrap up another edition of Play It Through. And you know what? You know, just for the heck of it, I'm going to end this video on a weird note. This video has already been weird enough. You know what? Before I even end this, I'm going to show you and look at this. Yeah, that's the Japanese boxer. I just feel like throwing that in there at the end just for the hell of it because it, it's, it's Japanese. There you go. That, that's just how I'm going to leave it. Anyway, this wraps up another edition of Play It Through. Even though I didn't enjoy playing it, I hope you enjoyed watching it.